Welcome to my daily report market analysis videos with me, Richard Premier Market Analyst at Hantec on Monday, the 11th of November. We have a, uh, a slightly um, corrective move to the dollar moves that we saw last week uh, early today. Um, nothing too significant. The dollar has had a really strong run high uh, last week throughout the the, uh, the course of the week, actually, as Treasury yields moved strongly higher, certainly on in, uh, on the back end of last week, and that uh, really did see this yield curve steepening. Look at those two levels of the of what the market sort of looks upon as the yield curve, and how steep it is. Three month to ten year at levels not seen since um, the beginning of the year. Two tens also. Um, moving nicely higher so that has helped the dollar to strengthen and um, as the as treasury yields move high you also see that um, equities also get the benefit from that um, you can see the S&P 500 for example which continues to push into all-time high territory and uh, it really is um, helping to uh, sort of sustain this move um, higher that uh, basically has been driven by the US-China trade dispute, the um, ongoing progress that seems to be made. Uh, suggestions are now from the Chinese side at least that they're close to um, agreeing some sort of tariff uh, de-escalation and possibly unwinding, although Donald Trump's not 100% convinced quite yet, but uh, certainly how that moves in the coming days and weeks will be important. But uh, for now, this the uh, this move has s helped to sustain the um, improvement in risk appetite. A little bit of a retracement today. We've seen over the weekend riots continuing Hong Kong. Uh, we saw the um, Chinese PPI, which uh, fell to negative territory 1.6 percent negative on the ppi was uh, worse than expected so we've seen a little bit of a, a kickback through the um, chinese yuan weakness on that and that tends to happen when you see um little unwinding moves on risk appetite as well you can see that through uh not only the uh sorry uh the vix uh moving a little bit higher today uh, and also equity markets uh european side uh, slightly weaker as uh, US futures have also fallen away. So, um, very slight retracement of last week's moves, but nothing too significant yet to really go on. It is Veterans Day in the States today, so public holiday means that uh, volumes are going to be lighter, means that uh, liquidity lighter and potentially volatility, little bit spiky moves, but uh, likely to be a bit quieter on that front there. And in terms of data points today, we've had the UK growth data out this morning which um, actually showed UK avoiding recession in uh, Q3, uh, Q3 growth of 0.3%, although well, slightly below 0.4% expected. Um, also, we saw the trade balance deteriorating quite sharply to minus 12.5 uh, in sep uh, billion pounds in September, down from 9.8 in um, or actually a downwardly revised 10.8 uh, negative in August, but uh, certainly worse than the expected as well. So um, we had the um, UK data, which has just slightly hit sterling, but uh, nothing too significant. I'll go through that in a bit. But in terms of my chart of the day, uh, it's silver. And what we have seen in the last few days, days is a really significant deterioration actually as that dollar has strengthened and the precious metals have come under pressure. Now we've seen silver falling sharply lower on the back of that. We've seen the um, certainly across the course of the past week a market moving from a testing of resistance up at the 23.6 percent fib around uh, so at the 1835 area testing that resistance but subsequently we've seen some seriously negative candlesticks certainly in the context of what we've seen in the past month or so and a move that has now broken below the eight, uh, 1685 key reaction low from October uh, on a closing basis that also breached the 50% fib level as well so a really significant um, move from 23.6% fib to below 50% fib um, has uh, come with um, seriously deteriorating momentum as well look at the RSI now basically the RSI uh, pretty much um, 
at uh, what's that five month lows macd lines crossing lower again below neutral stochastics falling into negative configuration below 20 that is multi-month lows as well so really significant downturn um, in the outlook for silver and it would suggest that I think that uh, rallies are now going to be struggling and probably likely to be seeing as a selling pressure and um, the overhead supply around that 1685 maybe the 50% fib level up towards 1712 which was that reaction though from October uh, or mid-October, you've got this overhead supply now in that area, which is likely to produ uh, produce sellers that uh, could well be sort of putting pressure to the downside once again on silver, especially considering the momentum deterioration. You can see that through the hourly chart where 17.12, that old low again became a resistance back in um, on the on Friday again falling away and uh, I think that um, given the negative configuration it is a really um, sort of a, a more of a corrective outlook look at that RSI failing around 60 50 to 60 now going back below decisively below 30 so that really is corrective pressure moving through the hourly RSI so it really does suggest that uh, downside pressure is growing on silver 61.8 percent fib is at 1631 area Initial support 16.53 from that August low, but uh, certainly looks as though that the uh, downside pressure is building. So with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos and go to our website to sign up for our webinars.